Hey everyone, Intel recently reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to try out their Dell XPS 15 laptop. And absolutely yes was my answer because I've heard great things about this computer and also because I've never owned a PC before. So let's dive in and talk about it. So let's talk about specs really quickly. This has got an Intel i7 processor. It's a 13th generation. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got 500 gigs of storage. It's got the Arc graphics system, and it has a huge display that I am super impressed with. So let's dive in and check out the unboxing. Now, Intel made really sure to secure this laptop for shipping. The shipping box is strong, it's sturdy. Uh, there's plenty of shipping tape to keep everything closed up. I wasn't worried about damage. I also like that I can pull these two side handles to slide the box up and out. It's also worth mentioning that they took the time to wrap the computer box in this protective film, and that's a nice touch. Now, once I flip open the top of the box, it presents the XPS 15 very well. Included in the box is a charging cable, a power block, and this accessory block, which is really cool. It's a Thunderbolt to HDMI and USB adapter. It's a nice touch to include that with the computer. Now, back to the laptop, it is wrapped in a plastic wrap, to protect it within the box. Again, nice protection, not worried about my PC being scratched. Uh, there's been a lot of care put into this packaging to ensure that the laptop is protected. Now, here is the laptop. You can see it's got a nice profile. Uh, it's a little reflective there, but uh, nice logo on the top. Nice aluminum exterior as well. The weight is not bad at all. It's, it's very manageable for me. Uh, it's not heavy, very portable. We also have lots of great ports on this computer. We've got Thunderbolt ports, we've got USB ports, we've got SD ports, headphone jacks, awesome sound as well coming from the speakers on the side of this thing. On first impressions, this thing feels super premium. The initial setup process with Windows 11 was super easy, super quick. The screen quality immediately impressed me with how crystal clear it was. As a motion designer, having a big screen edge to edge display is awesome and I really appreciate this display. So I've had a little bit of time to play around with the laptop and this being my first PC, it did take me a while to kind of understand how to navigate the interface. Uh, but once I did, I downloaded Adobe After Effects, installed it, seamless process, the installer went smoothly, launched After Effects. Even though this has got 16 gigs of RAM in it, which is a minimum requirement for After Effects, it ran super smooth, overall smooth playback as well. Now in terms of my general impression of this laptop, Again, it's super premium in my opinion. Uh, the display, I, I can't say enough about it. I absolutely love it. The battery life has been awesome as well. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that the laptop is not loud. It's not hot, which is a big thing. Again, when using After Effects, a lot of times it gets you know super, like I hear a lot of fans going, uh, it gets extremely warm. That is not the case with this laptop. I also got a chance to check out the webcam when doing a Zoom call and it looked great, super happy with it. The mic quality was great. The speakers sounded great. Uh, overall, super awesome impressions. And I also have to mention uh, setting up the face recognition and the fingerprint recognition were a breeze. No problems there. And I love that I can just open up my laptop and it immediately recognizes my face, unlocks it. I'm in. These are little things where they make a big difference in the overall experience when using a laptop. It's got an amazing display. It's got good graphics, good CPU, good RAM, storage, reasonable price. Would I recommend this PC? Absolutely. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Cameron with Motion Science, and I'll see you in the next video.